Hello, Sean. Ah, uh, there you are. I've already heard the news. But of course you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. It's all over. Ah. But it's really not. It's just beginning for you. The Institute is in your hands now. Lead them well. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone. It's all up to you. There's got to be something more we can do for you. No, it's... This is what I want. It's all right. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Father, you've helped a boy achieve... his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean, all over again. I close my eyes, I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts, whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but, it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed that the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.